A useful way of thinking about this is thinking about Sally Hemings' sister Mary, who was leased out to a man named Thomas Bell when Jefferson went to Paris. When Jefferson comes back, she asks him to be sold to, to Thomas Bell, and Jefferson complies with this. She takes his last name, but he doesn't free her. Members of the community refer to her as a common law wife, even though she can't be a common law wife because she can't be a wife. People in that area acted towards them as if they were like a married couple. She's had two children by Bell, and she lives with him on Main Street until he dies at the beginning of, of the 1800s, and he recognizes the children. He leaves them the house, which is kind of hard to do. You're not supposed to be able to do that which is something else that tells you about the community. They just accepted the idea that this was her house. She borrows money against the house, using the house as collateral. It's hard for me to imagine that they did not have some kind of connection if she asked to live with him. So we don't know everything about the two of them, but what we do know, I think, suggests that this is not a typical situation to ask to be sold to someone.